Hello everybody and welcome back to Delhi. We just had a great war where we got back three of our cores. We don't even have to pay for those. Those are already integrated into our country automatically because they rightfully belong to us. Um, there's no way we're going to maintain a 100 spy network with John Poor for the next 12 years, but we'll want to start rebuilding. We'll want to start rebuilding that in a second. Um, this one, you know what? I'm trying to think. We might have a rebellion here, actually. So let's hold that fort and let's keep it on. Keep it on. We're only paying. It's costing us a ducat, but that's fine. We can do that. Pay for that. Our economy is going to be looking good as we continue to build buildings. Let's take a look at the estates really quick. See what we can hit. Okay, so there are some buttons we can hit here. Ooh, that would be nice to get that guy up and going. Oh, there's a cooldown. One hundred and fifty power there, which is fantastic. Yeah, we're kind of ignoring the Raj boots, which which I understand is probably not optimal, but yeah. If we hit this button, we could get them up to uh, forty-five. Then, if we hit this button, we get them up to sixty, and then we could hit this button which is actually technically on cooldown until december we need to check back with those guys in december leveling up the janes i think could be a good thing wasn't there a province that the janes controlled that we'd like to actually revoke yeah, because we want to make this suny and this is going to tank their loyalty 30. Wow. They are not going to be happy about this. Which is fine. Doesn't bother us one bit. How does this look? So wait, we're actually converting stuff at a good pace. Wow, we're converting stuff at a good space. That's without a con That's without an uh, conquistador. Conquistador, what I'm saying. Inquisitor. Why? Miss the mysticism. Those whoo. Let's go. Let's go, mysticism. Let's go. These guys are upset. That's affecting our economy. That is ticking up, though. I feel like we we definitely are need to wait anyways. We're gonna wait till December anyways on that. We're kind of unfortunately, I'm kind of just dismissing. The Janes are actually super, super good. I'm kind of dismissing some of the really awesome estates, but I want to get this... Con I want to get our religious unity up. I want to get our religious unity up. We're doing good on religious unity, but... I don't know. Like, we could come in and start giving a lot of these provinces. We could start giving them to the Janes and making the Janes super happy. Um... A lot of the trade networks and things like that because the Janes give us diplomatic they do give us diplomatic national arrest guide don't care too much about that because we can get one from the Olema. this is a seek legitimacy is kind of cool it's actually really cool tolerance of heathens plus 20 percent religious unity is super good but we're kind of playing around that by doing like that's we could you could play this so many different ways right you could play delhi and um, manage the religious unity in a lot of different ways, but. Where are the rest of our dudes? We get them up to Delhi. Free diplomats, free diplomats. Well, let's get one going here. Uh, one buttering up our allies, I guess. Arissa, you aren't rival to any of our... Yeah, I think that's what happened. Arissa grew so strong they couldn't be a rival to maybe like Gujarat or something like that. So then they uh, are their opinion of us changed. Nice that they're allied here so they won't be expanding that direction, which is cool. It's going to be a while. How many favors are we getting with Arissa? Is it one per year or is it less than that? One every year. Nice. Very good. 
We have a lot of favors with Sind. And we could use that to boost Trust back up. But Trust should be slowly going back up. But man, Trust goes up slowly. Like, super slowly. We are pushing towards Mysticism, which is awesome. Because that's giving us 1.2% Missionary Strength and Morale of Armies. Lots of good stuff. I mean, I like... Don't get me wrong. Like, the, the benefits of Legalism are just nuts. But... Morale of armies and missionary strength is pretty good for us right now, too. I believe when we attack on John Poor, that's going to actually force that to go down that way, too. So attacking into Sunni nations actually makes mysticism go up, which makes which seems backwards to me personally. Because, like, why would I want move five towards mysticism, government reform? Oh, wow, free thinkers? Fantastic. All good stuff there. All good stuff there. While it's cheap, let's hit those buttons. Let's hit those buttons. Heretics. I don't think we really have a heretic issue. Really, the good thing is this tolerance of heathens, right? That's that's the juicy bit. That's the juicy bit. Monthly war exhaustion minus uh, 0 0.05. That's actually going to be incredible. That's actually going to be really good for us. Because uh, it's going to be free, right? We're not going to have to pay for it. It's just going to be something that we get. These temples temples lots of money lots of taxation would be even more money if the uh if the clergy wasn't so upset with us yep i mean they have no in the rash boots have no influence so the fact they hate us is completely irrelevant does it still trend upwards though it does still trend upwards which is kind of nice these guys have five percent influence because why it's just a base a base five but okay so the jeans Yeah, interesting. Any of these decent development? No, I don't I don't think we want to state any of this. If we check our state situation, <laughs> we only have three states. We only have three states right now. That's so funny. Room for fifteen. I mean I could see this being a state, actually. Oh, wow, look at this. How much development is that? 10 development, 8. Oh, yeah, we should make this a state. Actually. Because all this is going to eventually be ours, and it's going to be a good state. A relatively good state, right? In fact, because it's our core, we don't even have to pay the uh, state cost. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, Multan, actually, this could be end up being a pretty good state. And it's going to be... This is Sunni land, right? So... Or, um, sorry, this is, um... Oh, this is all Sunni. That's super hype. That is super hype. Hopefully they can convert this. If they can convert this, that's going to be incredible. Our vassal is slowly converting things to Sunni as well, which is great. Hopefully we'll continue to get the vassal to be larger. I think, yeah, technically our mission only covers this bit down here. We haven't actually looked at missions recently we're still kind of just letting time just kind of go slowly here uh, yeah we have to get all that to reclaim the lost territory that that's a that's a struggle that's a struggle but that'll give us tons of permanent claims restore rule over multan nice we only need to get the sunni bits there The Afghanistan thing is annoying. Is the Timurids? I mean, what do the Timurids actually look like at this point? Fifty-five thousand troops. Thing is, the Timurids are strong now too. They're not paper. They are not paper thin. They are actually a fighting force. Those guys need to be drilling, though. The cool thing is, if they're drilling, we can actually lower army maintenance for the rest. Technically, we're going to get a rebellion here, but we'll be fine. We'll take care of it. We could tech up, but it'd be it's a little early. 
We're going to have to be dealing with colonialism in 10 years. Let's double check the state edicts that we have going right now. This is always something good to kind of check every once in a while. Make sure we're not... Uh, we're using this for this province, right? We're using it here. I'm just making sure we're not paying for other state edicts because these increase uh, state maintenance, right? This number here is increased by 200%. Triples the cost. I mean, that's, that, that'd be a whole ducat and, ducat and a half a month just for that state right there. So it's definitely good to uh, do what we did there. That's a three. Wow. That's only with plus, plus one stability too. If we had two stability, even higher. These are some good numbers here. We're converting off of Hindu. These are some good numbers. I guess the development's really not that high. I guess the cultures, too. It's saying that a lot of these are accepted cultures. So, there we go. There we're getting some non-accepted culture nonsense. That's why we're getting those higher numbers. The fact that we're moving this way on mysticism is actually making me really happy. I'm tempted to actually take out loans just to build buildings, but that'd be silly. It actually wouldn't be worth it. Okay. The tricky thing is technically, yeah, you guys could just get a claim on that yourselves, but let's get a claim on it too, just so we have that covered. We can hit another button up here. That's gonna be good. Justified Wars, minus 10% aggressive expansion impact. That could be good. Transfer subject and also allows claim bordering claim. That's actually super powerful. I've learned about that recently. Super powerful. Our home territory is farmlands, so if we got adaptive combat training, we'd get plus one anytime we fought in farmlands. Yeah, it's it's that's okay. It would it's better than nothing. Oh, we could actually hit a golden age right now if we wanted. This is actually kind of cool too. Minus five unrest, because you can stack that with 20,000 troops and get a total of minus 10 unrest but because we're going humanist I yeah I, I don't think we're ever going to have a rebel issue ever so we either do this for justified wars which the next big war is going to be taking land from John Poor at a huge cost reduction or an aggressive expansion reduction right because it's our land transfer subject and also but more importantly claim ordering claim that's going to be huge. That means we can claim this province here if we wanted. Heck, we could make a claim on this province if we wanted. We could make a claim on this province if we wanted. Although it would probably cost us a bajillion because we already have a bunch of claims on them. It cost us 40. We could work towards that though and get a claim on that province. So next time we attack these guys, we could just suck them up. We can get claims on these bits over here. So there's a lot of potential with that. A lot of potential with that. Where else might we want to wiggle to? Heck, we could wiggle. We could get. We can get claims on um, Malwa now, too, through this province, right? We get a claim on one of these, or you know, so on and so forth. Then we can start claiming these bits. Super good, super good. I. It's not something I typically use, but it's uh, it's incredible. Even though they're, we're at low maintenance, they should be drilling, making a lot of money. A lot of money per month so the timbers have rivaled us what would be amazing is if for some reason the timbers just exploded but i don't see that the timbers are looking incredibly healthy incredibly healthy i have more cores over here too which is not good so they're just going to get stronger and stronger what we need is we need these guys we need the ottomans to get down here and show the timbers slap the timbers around a little bit We don't have a claim on this. Orissa. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. So to attack these guys, it would mean attacking and going to war with Orissa, unless they're distracted with something, which they are technically in a war right now. What would this look like, actually? Conversion successful. So let's reconfigure. So I believe this entire state now. This entire state should be Sunni. Yep, so we don't need this anymore.
Awesome. Simply awesome. Where would we like to start working? Okay, so we can go here with a 1.9% missionary strength. But we could also go here. Twenty-three short months. That's going to be done. A lot of this we can't convert unless we make it a state. That's going to be the tricky thing. So we've kind of decided that we didn't want to state a lot of this stuff, right? Wait a second. What's going on here? Because we we want to convert this. It's just saying it's going to take longer. Yeah. So we'll do that. Then we'll do this. We might just ignore all of this. I don't know. I don't know. Because I really don't think we want to state any of this. And if we maintain a high level of uh, of tolerance for for the for the heathens, then it should be fine. I mean, technically, these these guys aren't that upset with us because local unrest is actually going down. So one year away from uh, getting a development technology. Actually, if we look at Multan here, wait a second, Multan. That's going to be a good state. It's going to be a good state. It's all ready. It's already fully SUNY. Yeah, that'll that'll be worth it because that's. Um, 14. It's enough. I mean, 34 development on the state when we have so few states as it is, that's plenty. That's plenty. Yeah. Just, if we get money, then we could just invest it into our economy. It's just insane. Making a lot of dough here. We're in a very good position. Let's go up to speed four. Sorry about that, guys. The the truce with Miwar will end 1500. So 1500, everything's going to be moving. We're going to be moving and grooving. Gujarat and Sindh. Really, are you Sunni? Oh, you are Sunni. That's kind of good. Could we actually vassalize you? Is that on the table? Vassalization is on the table for this nation. Wow, okay. You guys are Hindu, though. So unlikely... Ooh, ooh. We could attack these guys. Who are you allied with? These dudes down there. That's 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 a potential attack right here. Ooh, wow. Two copper mines as well. And a high development province right there. And a trade in an emporium. Give this to our vassal. The fact that we could diplomatically vassalize this guy is very intriguing. But technically we have too many diplomatic relations as it is. When are we getting another one? Because don't we get one somewhere along here? And we start with, we have a diplomatic reputation. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it's just like, it's just so easy, you know what I mean? Grabbing this guy up, get, feeding him this province here. Having him grow this way while this guy kind of grows down this way. Gives us more people making claims on their neighbors. Gives us more flexibility. We're all already trying to conquer this way as it is. That's kind of juicy. That's kind of juicy. But who would we ultimately drop? We could drop Gujarat. Uh-oh. Did someone just declare war on him? Gujarat, Miwart. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Who, what's the war all about here?
Dang it. If this guy consumes this entire bit... We might have to declare on this guy simply just to like... Oh, we should have done that sooner. We were thinking about that too. We're diplomatically va uh, va vassalizing these guys, not this guy. Yeah, that was a mistake. What proven province is this going to affect here? Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good province. Adding 25 local autonomy is definitely going to hurt us. Local goods produced, though, is going to go up. Uh, monthly autonomy for a little bit. But this keeps us going on the mysticism route, which I think right now is good for us, as we're trying to convert some things. Also, if we get to the point where, you know, we can hit this button here and get some manpower, which is cool too. Although we're almost at max manpower. If somehow, if they move off of this province, we are going to attack. Let's get our maintenance back up. We are going to attack this guy. If somehow this... If they... If Miwart loses control of this province, we are going to go into attack. And attack. Okay, we're at Diplo cap. And we're ready to tech up. We could mill tech. However, we're still working on... Not it's a it's a good mill tech. We'll get it later. I think for now let's hit this button. Courthouse, we don't need that. We don't need more states. We literally don't need this. We would be getting more money by being ahead of time, right? We'd be getting a probably like a production bonus or something. But I think in this case let's let's focus on maximizing points by getting the ideas first. That's gonna make this even cheaper. And that also gives us core creation cost minus 10%. Yep, we should have attacked there. I think... This whole thing is actually kind of like... sketch, because they might be upset that we're making claims on them. What's the actual war goal? This is the war goal. Do you have claims on both? There's yeah, you're gonna you're gonna consume their entire like the entirety of their nation. Which is how much development? Yeah. So much development that we will no longer be able to diplomatically vassalize you. We might still be able to get it. We might still be able to get it. Um, it's unfortunate that they did that, though, just in general. We can take this off, because we're done converting that. Ah, we can still get it, but that's actually kind of annoying. What's... what I... actually, what, um, what ideas are you got? Religious ideas. Booyah, this is going to be an incredible vassal. In fact, step aside, Jangladesh. We don't need you anymore. You're going economic? Forget you. Forget you. <laughs> but these guys are going to be able to convert everything to Hindu. And they're already Sunni. This is good. This is good. Let's, let's work on getting these guys up. Yeah, we're going to have too many diplomatic relations. That's fine. I don't care. Now, can we proclaim guarantee even if... We're just hitting literally all the buttons here. Trust.
Ally attitude. Military power. Difference in government ranks. A minus two because of trust. Not sure what's going on here. Their economic power is like going up. Difference in military power. I think we could probably get that a lot higher. I think one of the issues with us is um, one of the issues actually it looks like we don't have a navy. I think if we had a navy, then it would be comparing our navy strength. And it'd be overwhelming. Dang it. Five years of separatism up here. Do we really care about that? No. Well, it's negative. What do we do here? We could compare our Sind with Gujarat. Sind is in danger of getting attacked by the Timurids. Heck, if they're not allied to us, that's probably going to be the case. They're allied to Gujarat, though. So Timurids, like this, this is a delicate ecosystem here. I can't believe it. 45 out of 67. I mean, we can't get that any higher. What is our diplomatic reputation? It's at three. It's pretty high. It's pretty high. Actually, we might not getting we might not be getting the full benefit. That's too big of a difference. We're not, I mean, there's no way we get that. I think we're already maxed out on everything here. Yep, so that's, that, that was a failure. That was a failure. Now we have kind of a pseudo worthless ally. And Aris is looking strong, though. We can't even attack into that. We should have attacked into them so much sooner. So much sooner. Get claims on these guys. Mistakes were made. So we're losing one Diplo per month because of that. A little bit of money for more prestige. That could be a good thing. Our prestige is kind of hurting at the moment. Let's let's sure. Let's do it a little a little pay a little bit of money, a little bit of admin, insignificant amount to uh we get the benefits of that. Those guys are going to go away on their own. Nice. That actually is... What is that? Is that a separatism? Yeah, it is separatism. Okay. Keep moving towards mysticism. Awesome. And now we can hit this button and get manpower back. But we're already at full manpower, so... The air died. Yes, that's a good thing. 
That's a good thing. Hair was not looking good. He was cruel. And he had just not very good stats. This is looking great. 45 years old. Our leader's going to keep kicking. Keep kicking. Now, if the heir is dead, do we need to re-get royal marriages with anybody? Gujarat, actually. What would happen if we actually attacked into here? Hmm. Alright guys, let's take a pause here. Hopefully in the next episode, we'll pick up the pace a little bit. We might go up to speed 5. We'll pick up the pace, and um, we'll hopefully be starting a war with somebody around the 1500, when all of our... It seems like every single truce we have ends in 1500. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching another episode. I will see you guys in the next one.